I have been studying how I may compare this prism where I live unto the world. And for because the world is populous, and here is not a creature but myself, I cannot do it, yet I'll hammer it out. My brain, I'll prove the female to my soul. My soul the father, and these two beget a generation of still breeding thoughts. And these same thoughts people this little world in humours like the people of this world. But no thought is contented. The better sort as thoughts of things divine are intermixed with scruples and do set the word itself against the word. As thus, come, little ones. And then again, it is as hard to come as for a camel to thread the postern of a small needle's eye. Thoughts tending to ambition, they do plot unlikely wonders. How these vain, weak nails may tear a passage to the flinty ribs of this hard world, my ragged prison walls, and for they cannot die in their own pride. Thoughts tending to content flatter themselves that they are not the first of fortune slaves, nor shall not be the last, like um, silly beggars who, sitting in the stocks, refuge their shame that many have and others must sit there. And in this thought they find a kind of ease, bearing their own misfortunes on the back of such as have before endured the like. Thus play I in one person many people, and none contented. Sometimes am I king, then treasons make me wish myself a beggar, and so I am, then crushing penury persuades me it was better when a king. Then am I kinged again, and by and by think that I am unkinged by long book and straight on nothing. But whate'er I be, nor I, nor any man, but but man is, with nothing shall be pleased till he be eased with being nothing. Music, do I hear? <laughs> Keep time. How sour sweet music is when time is broke and no proportion kept. So is it in the music of men's lives. Or oh, here have I the daintiness of ear to check time broke in a disordered string. But for the concord of my state and time had not an ear to hear my true time broke. I wasted time, and now doth time waste me. For now hath time made me his numbering clock. My thoughts are minutes, and with sighs they jar their watches on unto the eyes, whereto my finger, like a dial's point, is pointing still and cleansing them from tears. So sighs and tears and groans most show minutes, times and hours, but my time runs posting on in Bolingbroke's proud joy while I stand fooling here, his jack of the clock. <laughs> this music mads me. Let it sound no more. For though it have halt mad men to their wits, in me it seems it will make wise men mad. Yet, blessing on his heart that gives it me, it is a sign of love. Love to Richard is a strange brooch in this all-hating world.